Welcome to the Thrasher's Wheat Radio Hour, where the feedback is back. I come down from the misty mountain. Every week we scour the human highway to bring you the best Neil Young news and reviews, rumors and musings, plus rare unreleased tracks and live shows that will keep you rocking in the free world. It's all one song. The Thrasher's Wheat Radio Hour is presented by WBKM.org in the heart of Burlington, Vermont. Now, from WBKM, here are your hosts. All right, everyone, you know what that theme means. It means it's time to spend a little more time together right here. The Thrasher's Wheat Radio and Video Hour, version 2.0, episode two. And uh, always delighted to bring in our co-host here, Thrasher, right over on that side of the split screen. How are you doing, right, man? Oh, great day here, Tony. It's always good to catch up on everything going on. and. As always, lots going on. It feels like the 70s sometimes, doesn't it? I mean, with Neil's world, there's so much activity. Um, I forget sometimes how long these friends have been have been part of our lives. I mean, since so long ago, it's hard to remember a time when, when they weren't in our lives. For me, anyway. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, Tony. There, I, I know. Last week, uh, when we got together, we were anticipating the release of Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young's Deja Vu album. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely uh, can be filed away in the classic album of the '70s uh, cabinet. And uh, we were talking about 50 years. Uh, I know everyone who was around at that time is scratching their heads about like where'd the 50 years go but here we are here we are and it is a beautiful um you know it's a beautiful package i don't have my official package yet um uh the vinyl that's a father's day gift but i'm gonna i i was just informed yesterday that it will be arriving early so no need to wait for june um but it's really um, an exceptional package. Uh, I, I heard someone yesterday, or I read some article yesterday, talking about how, uh, you know, it really, it really sets a totally different standard. If anybody wants to look for the higher standard in re-releases, um, this is a beauty. I mean, this is not just cleaning up the original vinyl, which is nothing wrong with just doing that on its own. But all of these marvelous um, outtakes, the alternates, the demos, um, as, long, as well as uh, cleaning up those original beauties uh, in the way that we got to grow up with them and, and know them. Uh, it's really exceptional. It's really an exceptional job that Neil and company have done. Hats off, indeed. Yeah, definitely. Um, why don't we take a look at uh, the package and, and maybe uh, listen to a little bit of it. Uh, Let's now do that. that. The, I'm excited now that uh, now that now that we've waited 50 years for this. Let's 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 get to it. What do you say? I say we're going to compare and contrast. One of these things is kind of like the other, and uh, we're going to share it together together here. And uh, all right, here. well, I look forward to it. Uh, yeah, um, there you go. Beautiful. So you were talking about the the package uh, there a moment ago, Tony. Um, the package for for those who have who've gotten their their copies or can't wait for Father's Day or or late Mother's Day, or or what have you, but oh, yeah. um, you know, it it comes with a, a very nice booklet that's uh, written by Cameron Crow. Mm -hmm. um, there's a deluxe edition. You get it all on vinyl, um, and you can get it with the the D CD version only. Um, and of course, the uh, reissue of of the famous uh, Gatefold uh, album cover that we talked about uh, last week. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful, the most expensive cover that Atlantic Records uh, ever ever produced, ever put out. They didn't stay with it forever, but uh, it was Stephen's idea apparently, and uh, what a great idea! I mean, if you're going to make a classic album, why don't you start with a classic look? <laughs> and they sure did. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. There's a lot, a lot of history there. Um, we'll get into that a little bit as we go forward. I know we did talk about yep. that last time we got together. Yep. But um, yeah, as, as we mentioned, uh, yep, the, the, the wait is over, uh, 50 year wait, not that we knew that we were waiting 50 years here, but uh, if you're over here on the Neil Young Archive site, uh, neilyoungarchives.com, uh, Neil is playing the entire album streaming on his website. So if you can't wait to actually get your physical copy, um, it is there. We can take a look at it uh, here. Uh, I've got that up on the screen here. I think you can see that. Uh, I know last time when we were looking at this, I was kind of going, oh yeah, let's see if we can look inside. We talked a little bit about the, the picture on the cover and the dog and the alternate yeah. pictures, but but you can actually open it up and, and you can you right. know, open up the album and you can you know look around at the original gatefold uh, on on the the uh, album and uh, the credits and and uh, look there's Jerry Garcia probably a lot of folks you know kind of oh is Jerry Garcia on Deja Vu it just John Sebastian oh oh it's mm -hmm. just the, the things you learn right the things you can learn absolutely and the famous hammock there the hammock the hammock and uh and there's the back you know isn't that a beautiful back cover there you need to see it you know the high resolution back there we go so um well tony you know uh we, we talk a lot here but we want to get into some music here uh absolutely so one of the um clearly one of the, the the most vital tracks on, on this deja vu album is a track that was not by crosby stills nash or young and that is joni oh. mistral's woodstock which mm -hmm. was um you know um again you know we we use that that word classic a lot around here but uh you know woodstock was whew, we know well, um, let's maybe just, uh, what do you, what do you think, uh, hear, hear a different version of Woodstock maybe? Tony? Yeah, I'd love to share a little bit of the intro, uh, at least on the alternate, uh, Woodstock version. Um, it's okay. Quite, it's, it's different enough so that you catch it right away. And I like that. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, definitely. Um, well, while we, uh, navigate our way to the alternate Woodstock, uh, mm -hmm. you, you see, this is here on the original, mm -hmm. uh, 1970 release, but if you just click over to right the second disc, which is the demos disc, and, you, and mm -hmm. you can see the songs there on the, uh, screen of, of, uh, the, uh, demos that uh, were not on the original and there's a lot here I believe you know something like you know, 30 30 plus uh, unreleased tracks won't get to them all today but should mm -hmm. keep us busy in the coming days oh, so that's yeah. disc two and then um, the third disc is the outtakes disc uh, again just sort of scrolling through on there uh, right on mm -hmm. rock and roll laughing you know a lot of songs people are just not familiar with never heard before yep. so yeah. very exciting Definitely. bluebird revisited it's a short one 324 mm -hmm. and then that takes us to disc number four alternates all right so uh this is the alternate disc here and we were talking about uh woodstock uh and um maybe taking a taking a little little listen here what do you say i can't wait let's crank it up all right here we go let's somehow we had that queued up a little oh, bit wait. we we, we were already oh, already wait. queued up all right let's we'll try this again you know here we go let's see if we can get it live, right here it's live radio yeah are we back to zero there we go oh i hope so let's now see. we're good <laughs>
Oh my. Well. Oh my, that's tasty, huh? Mm. Yeah, really a different uh, feel, don't you think, Tony? A, a different feel, Neil's. Neil's guitar in the beginning is just slightly different. I can't even put a word to what's different about it, but there is a, a difference. There's another a little, little more electric, seconds, I think. A little more electric. A little more, and then a, a few electric, seconds before kicking into the verse, we get a little bit more of that guitar, and then Stephen comes in with that beautiful voice of his, and uh, also accentuating uh, the lyrics a, a little bit differently. So even the vocals there, um, you know, I love what alternates don't have to be really searched heavily for. Um, you hear it and you say, okay, I, I know what the song usually sounds like. That's clearly um, a, a, a difference. That's clearly well-defined difference in this alternate take. Um, it sounds beautiful. And, and that harmony, just when they all come on in, um, wow, that, that blew me away. I love that. Yeah, that, that, that was the trademark, the trademark uh, CSNY sound there. Uh, oh, absolutely. Well, um, I still have the track sort of playing. Maybe we just uh, uh, yeah, faded up just a little bit here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and so here we go. Uh, I love that. Uh, I, I love uh, the percussion on that. Uh, it's a different feel, and it's they're just that band is is rocking, huh? Wow. Yeah, they were they were uh, pretty pretty close to peak there. Um, yeah. So this week, you know, there there have been some some interviews with Graham Nash and Stephen Stills mm -hmm. uh, about the recording of this and. Uh, uh, you know, suggest, you know, folks check that out. We had that over on uh, Thrasher's Wheat uh, earlier this week, uh, mm -hmm. the, the Graham Nash and uh, the uh, Stephen Stills interviews uh, mm -hmm. somewhere. Uh, I think it was in here, I think. Uh, so, yeah, there's uh, Stephen Stills. He did an yep. interview in, in Uncut and had some comments on... Uh, on the whole recording process and working with everybody in the band. And then we had also the um, yep. Graham Nash one as well. Um, and that was a BBC interview. And, and yep. there's a, I guess an audio one um, mm -hmm. for that. You could play that. So check those things out if you haven't already. Uh, yep. Just mention yep. that. And there's good stuff in there that has not uh, been overused in the past. The, the commentary by both Stephen and Graham uh, in, respectively, um, were there, I think there were uniquely new comments, or at least ones that I've never heard uh, about uh, the process, bringing Neil into the band and all that stuff. It's really good, worthwhile stuff. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, those, those times. The times. All right. Well, what, what do you think? Uh, another track here? Another sort of alternate track, maybe? Uh, maybe can we can we play like the last uh, fifteen seconds of Woodstock there? Can we just jump up? I want to sure. see how it sure. share with sure. people how it ends there, so we can. Sure. This is the beauty of uh, the way this archive works. You know, anything you want to do with it, uh, it doesn't take a lot of practice, even really. You know, it's there. It is. Yep. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, we'll try and get to the last a uh, few seconds here of this yeah woodstock I can hear how that guitar is works out hmm okay it looks like it came in a little bit uh yeah. towards the tail end of that but uh um, okay, but you know, more, there, more there we organ. go you didn't really hear organ at the end of the uh uh, this the, the, the version, let us just say. Um, that was a nice treat. Um, I don't know. I wonder is uh, 
I don't know. I mean, maybe you don't know, and I hate answering a question that neither one of us know, but that's the way it is. Stephen playing the organ on that? Well, Tony, know. you know, um, we, we got the, we got our credits here. Um, we got credits, and of course. I, I, yeah, man, we got we got credits. Um, you know, whether we can drill into this specific tracks, uh, what what I will what I will say here, is, and Tony, it is it is a great question. You know, in terms of what's going on, but yeah. I think we could we could show this a little bit more clearly to folks mm -hmm. by you know going to the next track that we were talking about um good. which is which is helpless now you know you had asked like oh like what's going on with this track mm -hmm. well okay so these little folders here that are normally with every one of neil Young's songs on his archive site you ah. will see all nice. the details but with these with the um with the deja vu um I will, I will say here for Neil Young's website, we don't have the that ability to drill right into uh, the songs like the way they're curated on on Young's site. Uh, now that may be, you know, go into the booklet there and and looking it up the old fashioned way, um, which is Along certainly works. Yeah. But um, you know, while while we're just sort of going through this example here of uh, of um, you know the details, if we look at Neil Young's helpless here on disc four of alternates and we look at the file folder and then you can look at these uh these these credits here for for the song um let's see I gotta, I gotta zoom down a little bit here zoom down. so I can zoom in so we can zoom in look up, at this down, all the there we go all right oh, there we go. so here here you you can see um the, the individual uh, musicians mm -hmm. on this version of, of Helpless here. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, I'll say the, the CSNY version as opposed to the, the solo one. So um, if you'd like, uh, we can play mm -hmm. a little bit of this guy here. Yeah, let's. Beautiful. All right. So um, again, this is the CSNY version of Helpless as opposed to the um, version that was... Uh, this was an unreleased mix. Uh, it did appear earlier on an archives and is now on, on this one. Um, so let's see. All right. So we'll go ahead and play a little bit of it. Uh, let's see. Big birds flying across the sky. Throwing shadows on There you go. I love that. That uh, that uh, harmonica there, uh, different. Uh, uh, it jumps right out as being a different sound than uh, the one we we're used to. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. You know, as we said, the unreleased mixed here, and um, you know, certainly Tony. I, I think you know, for a lot of folks, you know, some of this. Um, really deep dive detail is is what it's all about you know mm -hmm. the, these unreleased mixes these different um, lyrical versions these these little little tidbits at, at least you know from a personal level um this is all fascinating from the standpoint that yeah helpless we've been listening to essentially the same version of the same song you know mm -hmm. a million times for the last 50 years you know i mean that's what makes it a classic but mm -hmm. that's what also makes it so great when you just hear like an unreleased mix version, it, it, it sort of brings it back alive. It really does. It really does. It's really shiny. It's bright. It's very clean. 
Um, love it. Just, just love it. All right. And these, uh, Tony, you know, and look at that there. You got go the 45 ahead. up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, got the 45. Um, but you know, Tony, you know, while we're on the subject of helpless, so helpless is not only offered as an alternate version on disc four, but is also on the demo um, ah. disc, I believe. Uh, let's see, did I lose it? Am I? Um, uh, did I be down a little further? We're not quite down at the bottom yet. Uh, uh, did I coming closer did to I, did I miss 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 speak here? Was it on here, or was it on, or maybe it was on outtakes? Did I just imagine that we had wow. two versions, of <laughs> an alt and a demo? Where was that? Well, okay. Well, well, that that clearly was not the studio version. So maybe I mean that's maybe that's the one you you were thinking of to begin with. I don't know. How I know what you're <laughs> Possibly. Well, maybe we were talking about. Think, well, we were talking about teacher children. Maybe that was teacher children. It was uh, the one that we wanted to. Now, now teach. We're going to look right. at a couple of yeah, examples okay. of teach. Um, right. Okay. That, that's what it was. Original. I think that's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. Um, All right. This is uh, apologies there on the confusion. This may be one of the uh, the more startling um, uh, differences on uh, on deja vu to me, anyway, to my ears, uh, and. There's been conversation with Stephen and Graham about how it got to be the thing that we know, uh, which is a lot of fun to hear those two talking about it. A lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Well, you want to take a spin here for teaching Please. children a little bit, yeah, see how it, how it uh, sounds? Okay. All right. So we got so the demo the, version here. The demo version. And hold on, folks, if you haven't heard this one. Remember the words? Roughly. Okay. You who are on the road must have a code you try to live by and so become yourself because the past is just a goodbye teach your children well their father's hell did slowly go by feed them all your dreams the one they picks the one you know by don't you ever ask them why If they told you you would cry So just look at them and sigh And know they love you <laughs> Quite different. Quite different. The demo version of Teach Your Children. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't uh, imagine if that was like maybe the first or second pass of, of the song, them sitting around, probably, you know, a, a single microphone, an acoustic guitar, and yep. looking at each other and you know, <laughs> going through the lyrics uh, and saying, no, oh, I got a nice song there, Graham. And then uh, Stephen, in his brilliant fashion of total honesty, which I think, you know, one of the things that to me, that band uh, had a lot of honesty. It, it's what brought disputes, but there was honesty. And for Stephen to say, as I heard on one of these interviews, uh, yeah, now let me show you how to play your song the right way. Because this is a country song, Graham. That sounds like Henry VIII trying to sing it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Love and, that. Yeah, and you know, another, another thing about these kind of demos and alternates is, is that chatter you get, right? at the beginning you know as they studio engineers get ready to say okay we're we're recording and, and they're all like having their last little little uh 
moments before they yeah. actually get the recording. And of course, all that always ends up on the cutting room floor, but it, it's always nice to kind of get that, get that vibe Absolutely. From, from these, I love uh, that. these kind of things. I love that. Yeah. Uh, you want to, well, uh, show uh, a, yeah, yep. A little bit the, of the, um, uh, the alternate one. Next. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can find the alternate one. So we got, uh, Outtakes, teach, sure, sure. Teach. there it is there it is okay uh, so we did we did uh we did a demo and now we're going to do an alternate here so uh, if you're ready here for that we'll try this ready for it are on the road must have a code that you can live by and so become yourself because the past is just a goodbye teach your children well their father's hell did slowly go by and feed them on your dreams the one they picks the one you know by don't you ever ask them why if they told you you would cry so just look at them and sigh Okay, well, that wow. sounded like uh, one of our little uh, technical glitches there. Uh, we'll uh, work to improve things here. I think last time it was like, well, it's somewhere along the line on this <laughs> side or on Neil's side or somewhere. I did notice yesterday when playing it off the archives, I did get a lot of glitches. I don't know if that was uh, just a lot of demand there or, or what, but I, I would, anyway. I would hope so, and I would think so. Um, but there we hear... Um, the song a lot closer not quite yet the thing that we know um jerry hasn't uh, hasn't added the pedal steel yet which is uh, one of the great moments first time that mr garcia ever was recorded playing the thing he had just learned how to mess around with it complicated instrument too it's not something you just sit down and start playing no matter how good a guitar player you are it's uh, challenging so uh pretty sound and you hear what D mr stills has done to it there yeah yeah um yeah they they all brought a lot to each other's songs and mm -hmm. you know i think as folks who have been you know reading and and studying this album over the years you know there's there's certainly a lot of a lot of history and, and folklore and myth around it as uh primarily that at no point were all four of them really in the studio all at the same time you know really um mm. collaborating as a foursome that it was a lot of ones twos and threes and and the fourth element was brought in usually as a mix or um you know some sort of a overdub or, or something like that uh, very very little of this was actually all four of the guys all at once yeah. in one room yeah, I mean, I don't think that we uh, we see that until uh, Ohio, and uh, not uh, you know, which which comes later, not much later, but uh, I think that's the first time we see the four of them in in the room together. Yeah, that, I think yeah, the famous uh, Ohio uh, recording. Oh, another story for another day here. Uh, well, well, Tony, you want to we'll start uh, wrapping up here and uh, kind of. Getting, getting folks on with, with uh, the rest of their day. Yeah, so what do we got? We're gonna leave them with a little taste of, uh, of something else there. What, what, what's your fancy there? What, 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 what tickles well, the fancy here of Thrasher and take them one well, more quick the fancy. Archives. Yeah, we'll just, let's just see what's, what's new here on the news today. Uh, oh. You know, uh, I, I, it's, it's really gonna be very hard for, for me not to sort of point out that uh, you should <laughs> this happy that. anniversary of, Thra of Thrasher's Week uh, that was posted on May the 4th. It is now 
May the 15th is almost, you know, heading on almost two weeks of mm -hmm. this Thrasher's Wheat anniversary being top and center. Um, to say that we're a bit, uh, oh gosh, you know, um, stunned to uh, be a bit of an understatement. Yeah. But um, yeah, so, um, you know, uh, we, we talked about this last time, I think we were together about, you know, some of the different, um, you know, albums and songs and, and being able to, to pick stuff off of here. Um, so, you know, this is a pretty easy way to kind of um, just, just sort of pick one here, but, but Tony, you know, like uh, any, any particular thing grab you there or you, or you want to do another deep drive? Why don't we do a deep drive? deep dive on one of those uh, other unreleased tracks or something like that just so we could just randomly deep pick diving. one out what do you think i'm, I'm what do you that. think let's take a look all right let's take a look so okay oh. well, let's we're gonna try and try and do a deep dive on on something here on our, our way out the door um uh, let's see um how about I'll I'll nominate right on rock and roll, but if right you see on something rock and else roll. there, yeah, that, I heard that, that just once, and I would like to hear that again. That's a still song, I believe. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and just play a little clip here, and then um, we can go ahead and and start winding it up, wrapping it up for the day. All right. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this rolling here. jamming there they are really jamming that that reminds me of back to that little uh that little conversation that uh you know after it was clear that neil was going to come into the band uh at the suggestion of uh ahmed erdogan atlantic uh records founder and nash wanted to sit down because you know hey we got this great thing that we just got this harmony now you want to bring somebody else in i don't know if i'm going to be okay with that so they they sat down and had uh, Neil and Graham sat down and had a wonderful breakfast. Graham was ready to uh, allow him to be the king of the world in 10 minutes. And then the final question to Neil uh, from Graham was, you know, if you really want to, you, you really think this is going to work. You really think coming into this band is going to work. And Neil, I can just sort of picture what the face looked like. Neil just gave him that little face and said to Graham, you never really heard me and Stephen play guitar together, did you? And I'm listening to that track and I'm listening to so many of these others. And to me, that beauty of, uh, of Neil Young and Stephen Stills, who went back very far, all the way back to the beginning with the Buffalo Springfield. Uh, it's an un one of the unparalleled combinations of guitarists. And uh, so glad that we get to hear these, these beautiful things one more time, boy. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of uh, musical, magical moments, and mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of stories here. And, uh, and I think that's that's what we really kind of enjoy doing here. You know, the music and the stories. Absolutely. All right. Well, Thrasher, it's been uh, another great uh, week chatting with you, and certainly hearing this music and sharing the stories that uh, uh, really have touched both of us about this great album, Deja Vu. 50 years old yeah yeah this it's it's been a, been a lot of fun and i i know before we were you know, starting to record this and deciding what we were going to talk about uh, we were both mm -hmm. sort of marveling about you know our our, our timing here of, of relaunching you know thrasher's wheat radio yeah. with wbkm and and how uh you know what what sort of better way to do it on the 50th anniversary of of a Crosby Stills Nash and Young album and really being able to weave in the story of of all of the guys I know we're, we're you know a lot of us are, are big Neil guys but you know Neil wouldn't probably be 
quite what he is if it wasn't for these other guys too. And same with all of them, I think. Yep. They've all had yep. tremendous influences on one another. Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing if upon hearing these things, those, those animosities of, of, of late would fade away and, and, and not about, oh, oh, get together and play again. You know, that's a, that's a great dream. But, but really to me, would, a, a wonderful sentence that said that these four gentlemen sat down and uh, recognized that life is short and they were able to put their, uh, uh, put, their, put their aggressions and put their difficulties and their differences behind and just hug one more time. To me, that would be one of the great, uh, great moments in music history. Maybe yeah. looking at all of this uh, will help. Will help each of the four gentlemen to uh, to do that. Let's help. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think we're all just grateful that they're still here. Still Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Thrasher, thanks for you still being here, and thank you all of the folks that were uh, that tuned in and uh, watched and listened uh, to the first episode. And uh, we hope that you continue to stay with us. Thank you, Tony. Have a great day. Have a great one. Take care, everyone.